Hello students welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide today we are going to solve the chapter 1 adaptations in plants from class 4 science book before we start requesting you to like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get further notification if you missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist you will find there so let's start the chapter adaptations in plants at first we will solve the objective parts then we will solve the question answer part so let's start number a tick the correct answer number 1 which of the following is not an example of a plant that grows on hill the answer is option a coconut number 2 which of the following plants has breathing roots the answer is op option c mangrove number 3 which of the which of these trees shed their leaves in winter the answer is option b deciduous trees number 4 which of the following plants grow in coastal regions the answer is option a coconut number 5 which of the following places has a moderate climate the answer is option d plains number b find the odd one out give reasons for your answer in the space provided number 1 hydrilla lotus water lily cactus so cactus is a xerophyte plants and also a terrestrial plants but hydrilla lotus water lily are aquatic plants number 2 pine cedar lotus far so pine cedar and far grows on terrestrial area that means on hilly area but lotus grows in water it is a it is an aquatic plant number 3 palm mango acacia cactus mango is a evergreen plant but palm acacia cactus are xerophyte plants number 4 coconut mango teak mangrove the teak is a deciduous plants but coconut mango and mangroves are evergreen plants number 5 wolfia pistia palm water lotus so palm is a xerophyte plants uh, which grows in a uh, desert area wolfia pistia water lotus are aquatic plants next number c fill in the blanks using the words given in the box number 1 tape grass is a submerged plant number 2 spurs is a plant that grows on the hills number 3 hollow stems keep the aquatic plants afloat number 4 roots help the desert plants to absorb water from the soil number 5 water lily is a fixed aquatic plants next number 1 give one example of a plant growing in each of the following regions number a hills pine number b marshes mangroves number c grasslands foxtail number d deserts cactus number e plains mango number f coastal regions coconut number 2 fill in the blanks number a spongy bodies helps aquatic plants to stay afloat in water number b the leaves of floating plants have chlorophyll on the top of the surface number c waxy coating on the leaves of underwater plants prevent them from getting wrinkled next number d there are some question answer let's start number 1 define habitat the natural home of a plant or animal is called its habitat number 2 name the different types of terrestrial habitats different types of terrestrial habitats are deserts marshes plains forests grasslands and coastal regions number 3 why do desert plants need adaptation due to the scarcity of water in deserts only few plants grow there the desert plants are also also called xerophytes need to adapt themselves to obtain water from the ground and also minimize water loss from their body parts number 4 why do aquatic plants have spongy bodies aquatic plants have spongy bodies that are filled with air this make them light and helps them to float on water 
Number five, differentiate between deciduous trees and evergreen trees. Give two examples of each. Deciduous trees and evergreen trees. Number one, deciduous trees shed their leaves in winter season to protect themselves from the cold weather. Evergreen trees do not shed their leaves. They remain green throughout the year. Examples, people, gulmahar, shisham and tick. Examples here under evergreen trees, pine, fir, and cedar. Next, differentiate between cactus plant and pine tree. Cactus plant is found in deserts, pine tree is found in hills. The leaves of cactus plant are modified into thin and sharp spines which prevent the loss of water through transpiration. The leaves of the pine tree are needle shaped, they are tough and coated with wax. Thus, they do not get damaged by extreme cold. Pine tree is known as evergreen tree and cactus plant is known as zero pines. Next, number two, what is the difference between the roots of a mangrove and the floating aquatic plant? Mangrove trees grow in marshes. Their roots do not get air under the soil. So, they grow special roots above the soil to breathe. Such roots are called breathing roots. These plants float freely into in water. They can float with the flow of water as they do not have roots. Number three. State three adaptations of the following types of plants. First one is xerophytes. It has succulent stem which can store large amounts of water. The leaves of the xerophytes are modi uh, modified. modified into thin and sharp spines which prevents the loss of water through transpiration the roots of the xerophyte plants grow very deep into the ground and spread out wide to absorb as much water as possible from the ground next is hydrophytes floating plants have spongy bodies that are filled with air this makes them light and helps them to float on water. The soft and flexible stems bend with the flow of water. Underwater plants breathe through small air spaces present in the in their stem. The leaves have no stomata. Next, give reasons. Number A. The trees in hills have a conical shape. Due to this shape, water and snow easily slide, slides down the leaves and uh, does not settle on it number b leaves in cactus are modified into spines these spines prevent the loss of water through transpiration next number c the leaves of aquatic plants have a wax waxy coating on them answer this waxy coating prevents them from absorbing excessive water and getting wrinkled next number d Mangrove trees have breathing roots. Their roots do not get air under the soil, so they grow above the soil to breathe. Number E. Tape grass has ribbon-like leaves, so they can bend their flowing in the flowing water. So now we come to the end. Please like the video, subscribe the channel, and press the bell icon to get for the notification. We'll be back with a new video. Till then, take care and study well. Bye.